Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I will be giving you guys some tips and tricks on how to update your wardrobe on a budget. Whether it is that you want to change your style or maybe you just don't want to feel like you have nothing to wear even though you have a closet full of clothes, I will be showing you guys how to shop wisely. So the first thing you want to focus on is knowing what style it is that you like or like what possible outfit combinations you might like to wear. And I like to focus on this by looking for inspiration online. I typically like to look for my inspiration on Pinterest. I use that website like a lot. And I just like to look at a lot of pins and like create a board. So that way I can see like all the styles that I like, whether if I like a shirt or I like a certain, a certain item, or if I just like a style, I just save it onto my board. And then I just go through it that way like I always have in mind like what style I like, what colors I like. And then I just kind of like put it all together and see what pieces are like in common in all of those items and what would be like the most wise thing for me to buy. This is going to be like a lot more helpful than just going to a store not knowing exactly what it is that you like or what it is that you really want to look like and just buying whatever it is that you find looks pretty at the store. So now that you already know what it is that you like and what outfits you want to wear, um, now consider like what it is that you have at home to recreate those outfits and kind of toss out like the things that you don't really need or that you actually don't really want and you know that you're not going to wear anymore. That way you know exactly what it is that you need. Maybe you have a lot of shirts of the kind that you want to wear and you just need maybe like a blazer or like jeans or something like that. That way when you go to the store, you know exactly what it is that you are looking for and you don't just buy like random things or things that you already have at home. And then like if you go back home with those items, you're gonna be stuck in the same place where you started. My next tip for you guys is not to purchase a lot of trendy items. Uh, even though trendy items are very pretty at the moment and they're like very cool to have, um, I personally don't really like to invest in trendy items because those are going to go out of style in like a short period of time. I personally prefer to invest in like um, a more classic or more like neutral styles and colors. That way those can last me for as long as the item of clothing wants to last me. Really try to invest in like just regular crew necks or v-necks, um, jeans or whatever it is that your style is just basic styles and basic colors like neutral colors or maybe your favorite color but don't really go for a really expensive floral top just because it's trendy at the moment because it might not be trendy later and you're probably not going to want to wear it. And then if you do really want like something that is very trendy in style, um, like, I don't know, maybe like a floral printed shirt or like an animal print or something just like a really different style that, you know, might not last forever. Try not to invest too much in that item. Maybe find something that is cheaper, that is trendy. That way, uh, when it goes out of style, you won't have like this really expensive item of clothing that you invested so much on and now like it's useless for you. And another thing when you're shopping, only buy the things that you actually really, really like. So if you find something that you know is in style, probably looks good on other people, but you personally don't feel comfortable wearing it or you just don't really love how it looks on you, but the item of clothing is pretty by itself. Um, and you just think maybe I'll just get used to it or I'll like it later or I'll wear it for maybe a certain occasion or maybe a certain occasion might come up. Don't, don't buy those items because you're probably not going to end up wearing them. Also, when you're choosing clothes, try to look for clothes that are of better quality uh, for similar prices. Even if you're shopping like at stores like Forever 21 or H&M where like they have cheaper clothes and it's of like not as good quality as other stores. They do have items that will last you a little bit longer than others and really consider that when you're buying something. For example, I have here a couple of items that I purchased a very long time ago and I still have them because I really, I didn't really focus on the material at the time I was buying them. But now that I look at it, the material has lasted a long time and that is the reason why I still have them. Aside from the fact that they're like neutral colors and that's like what all I wear now. So I have this shirt that is just white and it's like a kind of transparent material. 
and I like to wear this with like a crop top or with like a a small tank top and since it's white and the material is just polyester and I mean I take care of it like when I wash it and things like that uh, this has lasted me for about four years or more I bought this when I was like a junior in high school and I'm now 22 years old so this has lasted me a really long time and it was probably the same price as uh, maybe a pretty t-shirt but that was of bad quality which I probably wouldn't have anymore and another thing that I have is this this black short sleeve it has like curled sleeves and like a little, a little bit of curl at the bottom and it's just like a regular rounded neck and I have worn this in many occasions um, I wear this sometimes with jeans and it's just like a very casual look I also wear it with I worn it to an office when I used to work in an office I would wear it so yeah so really try to focus on getting items of good quality even if you're not at like the most expensive store or like the best quality store you could really always see the difference between different materials and just try to go for the ones that you feel that are gonna last you longer and same goes with like the style as I mentioned like try to focus on neutral pieces that are like neutral styles neutral colors and just things that you know you're gonna like in a year or two years or like those shirts I've had for like over four years so if you really try to do those things your items of clothing will last you a lot longer and you won't have to be buying that much clothes and if you do buy clothes um, you will have like so much more things to wear so now as to where to shop one of my favorite places to buy things is at thrift shops because everything there is cheap and you could get basically anything everything you could get at a store um, you could get at a thrift shop uh, the only difference is that it's just been used by someone else but you could find things that are in very good condition and you could even find like designer items at thrift stores um, one of my favorite things that I have bought at a secondhand store is this denim jacket and this I also bought when I was like in high school and again since it's like a staple item I don't really find that it goes out of style and it is denim um, it has lasted me a pretty long time and I can basically wear this in so many different occasions and this I got at a thrift store and like the only difference is that you have to wash it before wearing it but I think it's really worth it if you don't really mind wearing secondhand items. Another place where I like to shop is at discount stores. Uh, one of my favorite discount stores is Marshalls and sometimes I like to shop at Ross as well. And those stores they basically have like designer items or um, things like that and they sell them for like a cheaper price. And I actually made a video on how I saved like a bunch of money on one of those stores. I'll leave the link down below in case you guys are interested in watching that. Um, but you could basically find things that are worth like $100 and you could probably get them for like $20 or even $15. So I really like to shop at those stores. And if I don't shop at those stores, I also like to go to like um, stores that have good quality items but aren't that expensive but also not that cheap. So for example, Gap. Um, they have pretty good quality items. Most of their things are not that budget friendly. They have like they have like certain things that are of good price, but most of their things are not that cheap because they are of good quality. But what I like to do in those stores is go to their sales section and then just shop there, like only there because most of the time I really don't want to buy like what they have there because it's very expensive. But in their sale section, I have found a lot of things. Um, one of the things that I found was this cardigan. This is like an olive green cardigan. It's like very fresh and the quality looks, the quality is really good and it, you could tell that it's like good. And this originally priced was pro probably like $30, but I got it for like six or $7 because it was on sale. And I also got this trench coat that it's it's like really long and it has like something to tie to tie around your waist and i think it has a it, it just has buttons and yeah so this is really warm and i think it's really pretty it's personally like one of my favorite things that i own and this was probably around 
hundred dollars and I got it for like probably 20 or less than 20 but there was like a really really big difference and not all the sale items at a store are going to be necessarily ugly or like not in style so that's what I like to do I just like to go to like the the sale racks and just look there and a lot of times I have found pretty good things at stores and it's just a, really a matter of looking but if you really like don't want to spend that much money on good quality items that you want to last you a long time then this is a pretty good thing to do and now to finish off my last piece of advice for you guys is to really look for sales when you guys are going to go shopping uh, I like to just look online to see like if I want to go to Forever 21 I just like to look like Forever 21 sale or something like that that way I know if they have a sale or what day they'll have a sale uh, they're us they stores usually have sales like on holidays like Memorial Day, Veterans Day and those things so really take advantage of those days if you want to go shopping on a holiday is coming up just wait for that holiday so you could probably get things a little bit cheaper um, I also like to look for discount codes online. I also used to use this app called Retail Me Not where you could just like search the store name and they will give you like the discount codes if you're shopping online and I think they also have like in-store discounts as well. So you could use an app like that where it would basically give you like just the discount codes. And another thing that I like to do is just whenever I go to the store, I like to sign up or whenever I'm like visiting the store's website, I just like to sign up online and like register an email. And I have personally made an email especially for doing this. Um, that way I don't get like all this spam mail in my personal email. So basically I just sign up and then whenever I want to go shopping or buy something, I just go into my inbox and I look for the store that I want to shop in or I just look to see if I have any good discounts in my inbox. So basically those are all the things that I do and all the advice I have for you guys. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Hopefully you guys are able to update your wardrobe and stay on a budget and make this wardrobe last you as long as you would like it to. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!